Okay, hello, welcome back to the Land Rover Toolbox videos. Right, I'm just going to go on by explaining that the splines on the main shaft of the gearbox can wear on the input shaft gear. This is basically because of oil starvation to the splines. Uh, the main design fault is there's no drillings in this gearing, whereas a modification has drillings to let oil get in between the splines so it doesn't wear the splines out. Right, so there's another modification that Land Rover used temporarily, which was an oil feed plate. Now, this oil feed plate will feed oil into the splines. Basically, you will see here on the microfiche that it's listed as a part number. And this will be SDC uh, 3615K and the O-ring FDC 4994. This was later replaced by our gear with a drilling or cross drillings in it. Okay, so I'm going to pull the PTO cover plate off the back of this L230T. And I'll show you what was found. This is the uh, oil feed plate positioned in this position here. Okay, that is fairly loosely fitted. You can lift it out like so. And this will show the input gear and the splines. This part here feeds the oil into the splined area. The components of the transfer box have been cleaned thoroughly so you can see the condition of the input gear right well i'll take this out right now and show you that this is uh hasn't got any cross drillings in it and the condition of the splines are in very good condition you can see that very clearly here so the oil feed plate has been working oil gunge does collect in this area here so we'll see that the feed plate actually by this screw introduces oil and not massive amounts of it into the splined area. This is a solution thought up by Land Rover before they introduce cross drillings into the input gear, which will also give you the indication that you can actually retrofit this to transfer boxes if you do not have a cross drilled gear. Jump in straight onto the Ashcroft's website, just type in oil feed plate into the search engine and search and what it brings up is the oil feed plate here which they're offering secondhand plates for non cross drilled input gears to increase oil flow to the splines so we'll click through here and what they're telling us that some of the gearboxes which you have suffix a or suffix b you are not able to fit a cross drilled gear so this is a good idea to fit instead Synchro gearboxes who bring you the slick shift also supply the plates. I'd also add that it doesn't take long if you were to retrofit this to a vehicle. Right, so here's the number of the gearbox which has the oil feed plate and you can see it is a, not a suffix B or an A, it's in fact an E. And you'll see here's a transducer on the speedo cable which will give the game away that this actually comes out of a Discovery or Discovery 1. This gearbox here is a different Discovery gearbox, and this has a cross-drilled gear. Now, the cross-drilled gear is sufficient to supply oil to the splines, and you do not need to fit a plate to the back of this to help it along its way, because the drillings are sufficient. So here's a couple of pictures of the gearbox, which are stripped out and cleaned. You can see clearly that this was a surprise to find that this plate in the gearbox and it's just a nice surprise to find that the splines are not worn at all and actually the bearings are not bad but it could have done with better oil changes because there's quite a lot of smeg in there so basically in summary you could be looking at saving the splines on your gearbox and in your transfer box by fitting one of these plates so investigate it if you're interested if you're unsure whether you have a cross-drilled gear or not, you can always take the sump off the transfer box and have a look. The holes should be very clearly seen.